Hello everyone, my name is Andy. Today is Friday, September 8. Time is around 6.50 GMT and we will have a look at the Dow Jones futures on the Wanda platform. So here we are looking at the 4-hour chart and my main take on the um, Dow Jones is that we are working here on this wave 2 as an uh, ABC uh, correction. So here we had a wave 1 uh, high and then if we take the length of our wave a the length of our wave b then this here becomes our target the area between the one and the 1.618 fib extension and this area also nicely coincides with this uh, wave 2 area here so i believe we had a wave uh, b to the upside here we reached uh, the target area um, as you can see in the for our also this wave B nicely played out. We had a nice reaction here from the Equalec area A B C. We touched this area and we went uh, we went back down again. So now here in the four hour, what we start to what we start to see is that uh, this downward cycle is uh, is breaking. So it might be that. Um, we are now ready with uh, with some kind of move uh, here um, and we have to closely uh, monitor this i will explain you why so first of all main expectation is that the wave b is uh, is finished here however it is always possible that you make a kind of a double uh, correction like uh, this here if we go to the the one hour like this here is a single correction a b uh, c so this can be a corrective move three waves and this is enough like from here we might see more downside we also saw more uh, downside but the problem with uh, this structure is that um, so far we only have uh, three waves one two three and so now what uh, what needs to happen is um, I indicated here on the on the 15 minute. So one, two, three. So far, I do not really see a way to count this as uh, as four uh, as five weeks. Excuse me. Um, so what we need now is like a wave four that is uh, that finishes here so this could be the case but then we need another low here ending with uh, divergence on the uh, four hour so another push down here so that we end um, yeah this uh, structure here with divergence so that would mean we have an uh, we have an impulse down and an impulse, we need five, uh, three impulses in a wave C. So one impulse, then two, three, four, five as a wave, uh, as a wave C. So this is what I would like to see to support my, uh, my primary uh, scenario here. So after the corrective move, we need, a, we need an impulse. But for now, we only have uh, three waves. And so if we have uh, three waves, it means it can still be um, corrective. And so that would mean that um, this scenario can play out here as a W, X, uh, Y. So then it means that the wave B here was not finished after a single correction, but that we get a double correction deeper into uh, this area. So and then it looks like A, B, C, wave W. Then here as a wave uh, X, also something corrective, A, B, C, three waves. And now we can get then uh, three waves to the upside, A, B, C, taking out this, uh, this high here. And then um, it means that we finish wave uh, Y uh, somewhere, uh, somewhere here. Like if this low is holding, we can already even project the area where the wave Y should um, should go. So this might be 
then this area here between the 1 and the 1.618 uh, FIP extension. So like, uh, like this, I will put it in red as the alternative um, scenario. But of course, we cannot take out uh, this high here. If we take out this high, then we are in, an, um, in another uh, scenario. So we could, like, it is enough to take out um, this high here as a wave Y, but the target area would be, uh, would be this area limited by um, this high here. So maybe we can, uh, we can make it smaller. Yeah, something, uh, something like this. So this would be the, the alternative um, scenario. If we do not get this uh, fifth wave to the downside, then it's difficult for me to consider this here as an, uh, as an impulse because uh, we clearly do not end with, uh, with divergence, not on the one hour, not on the, not on the four hour. So um, yeah, then this is simply uh, three waves. Three waves is something corrective. So then my expectation would be that we see uh, another corrective move up here, taking out uh, this high. So um, yeah, I think we have to wait today. Um, if we get this fifth wave um, down, if we get this fifth wave down, um, then um, I have more confidence about uh, the primary scenario as an A, B, C. Then we had our first impulse here of, uh, of a wave C. However, if we do not get this uh, fifth wave uh, down here in this uh, structure, then um, yeah, then I think we have to uh, we have to start putting more um, yeah we have to stress more here the, um, the alternative uh, scenario and then the alternative scenario can become the the primary one. So that's my analysis for today. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, comment to support my work. And I see you tomorrow or this weekend for an analysis of the higher time frame. Have a nice day. Bye bye.